The homeowner indicated he arrived home, parked his car, and entered the house. He was immediately assaulted by two suspects, one male and one female, who were burglarizing his home. The homeowner was struck repeatedly and ultimately thrown to the floor. The female continued to strike him while the male suspect walked over to the homeowner's safe, attempting to break into it. The female suspect eventually stopped her assault on him and joined the male suspect at the safe. Detectives learned from the homeowner that he had been the victim of three prior burglaries where cash and other personal property had been taken from his home. It was his belief that the people in his home at that time were responsible for the prior crimes as well and, and might return in the future. The homeowner was left unrestrained, and while the suspects continued to burglarize the home, he was able to retrieve a gun from another room in the house. He returned to confront the suspects and fired his gun at them while they were still inside his house. At this time, both the male and female suspects fled the residence with items taken during the burglary. The homeowner followed both suspects as they ran out of the house, at which point he again fired his weapon. The female suspect was struck by gunfire and fell in the alley and died at the scene. The male suspect fled the scene. While investigating this case, detectives were able to identify and locate the outstanding male suspect. He was arrested uh, later that same evening and is identified as 26-year-old Gus Adams of Long Beach. Suspect Adams is currently being held on charges of residential robbery and murder and his bail has been set at just over a million dollars. The deceased female has been identified as 28-year-old Andrea Miller of Long Beach. Both suspects have criminal histories that are consistent with this type of crime. The homeowner was ultimately found to have suffered a broken collarbone and minor cuts and bruises on various parts of his body. We're aware that the homeowner has made statements to the news media regarding the incident and our detectives are reviewing those statements as part of the ongoing investigation. The facts of this entire case will be presented to the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office and they'll determine what charges will be filed.